Yo, it's lit. Wow, wow. Hey YouTube fam, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling a little extra spicy today. As you can see, I did my first perm rod set. I really wasn't sure how this was gonna come out, but spoiler alert, it came out pretty bomb. I'm really excited. And I think I did the damn thing. So as you can see by the title of this video, we will be going over exactly how I achieved this perm rod set right here. Before we get started, please go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. We have a lot of fun over here. Just go ahead and do it. I promise you will not regret it. And now that everybody's subscribed, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I am starting with freshly washed hair. Literally just washed it and it has air dried for about just 15, 20 minutes. I have zero product in it right now and so it's still very very damp especially like towards the end here I did let it air dry a little bit just because I didn't want my hair to be dripping like soaking wet because then it would be like impossible for my hair to dry I just want to say a special shout out to Janae and Nate Too Curly as well as De La Soul y'all know this is my first perm rod set so I did go on YouTube did a little bit of research to try and figure out exactly what is the best technique I'm still gonna kind of do my own unique thing, but I definitely got lots of inspiration and really good information from those two girls. They had some great videos, so you guys should go ahead and check out their channel as well. All right, so I'm gonna be using the orange perm rods. This is what they look like, and I actually picked these up from Sally Beauty. They were probably about $3 a pack, so very affordable. So I would known all about flexi rods, but I didn't really know about perm rods. They look pretty easy to use, so basically, this is how it comes. It has this little dangly piece, and you wrap the hair around, and then you can secure everything like so. Pretty easy, simple, straightforward. I'm a wash and go girl. I'm 100% accustomed to using a leave-in conditioner and then gel on top. Boom, done, that's it. But when I did some research, I realized that actually gel is probably not the right thing to use for a perm rod set. It's a good thing I did that research. So I instead went and picked up a bunch of different curly hair mousses and I decided to use the one by Miel. It's called their Babasu Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse. So apparently the whole reason for mousse over gel when you're doing a perm rod set is that the consistency is a lot lighter so it'll basically just allow your hair to dry a lot faster. Along with my mousse, I am going to be using the Care Care Curl Essence Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. First, I am just going to start by parting out my hair. I'm going to start from the back and go all the way up. So because my hair has dried a little bit while I've been talking about all the products, I am dampening it back with my DIY spray. I don't want it to be dripping wet though, again, because you don't want it to be too crazy difficult for it to dry overnight. So I'm just going to grab a section of hair here, and I'm just using my fingers to kind of part the hair out. Literally just grabbing a section of hair that feels comfortable for me. I, like, I can't tell you how big or small this section is, but... To me, it just feels comfortable in my hands, so that's what I'm going with. All right, so first, just gonna go in with a little bit of leave-in. And then slap some mousse right on top. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth it all out with my Denman brush. Wow, this was only like one little pump of mousse, y'all. So I'm just grabbing the hair, smoothing it out all the way till the end. And then with the perm rod, I'm gonna go ahead and secure the ends first. I'm wrapping the hair on top of each other to ensure that the bottom of the curl is gonna be nice and secure. And then continuing to spiral it upwards and making sure that the hair stays nice and tight. At the top, I got this tip from De La Soul. You gotta twist it at the top before you actually secure it. She says that this will help to prevent puffy roots, so I'm trying it. All right, one down. Don't know how many to go, but let's do this. So basically, I'm just going through and repeating all these steps over and over and over again.
Oh my gosh, my arms are dying. This is a workout for sure. And if this doesn't come out good, I'm gonna have to fight somebody. Okay, finally done. Guys, you will need a little hand towel on deck as well because using all that mousse and product, it gets a little bit messy. All right, so let's get a little close up of how this is looking. I think so far it looks okay. Um, a couple of my roots are looking a little bit frizzy, but otherwise the hair that's kind of slicked over the perm rods, it actually looks pretty smooth, which is like, the most important thing because you don't want it to dry with any frizz you want it to dry nice and smooth so right now i'm kind of just looking over all of them and if there are any little frizzy spots just taking my fingers and smoothing it down as much as i can while the product is still nice and wet all right and now that i'm satisfied with how smooth everything looks i'm just gonna grab my blow dryer put it on the second to hottest setting I don't want it to be too crazy hot but I feel like there needs to be a little bit of heat to encourage some drying and I'm just gonna blow it out for as long as my arms will allow me to to try and get it to at least start drying all right I'm tired of blow drying I don't have a dryer either so I basically am just going to pray and hope for the best um, this better come out good my arms are dead and this like took so long i'm so not used to doing stuff like this because i'm such i'm like in love with my washing goes i'm excited though i'm excited to see how this turns out because this will be something real different now i'm gonna grab my satin cap and put that on i'm gonna look like somebody's grandma but it's cool All right, that's it. The satin cap is meant to protect it while I sleep so that there's no friction causing any extra frizz or anything like that. All right, so it's 7 p.m. right now and I'm done. This is it. I'm not touching this anymore until tomorrow. I will check you later. All right, so I'm back. It's the next day. What time is it? It is 1.22 p.m. So I've been feeling these out, trying to wait for it to be as dry as possible because like I said, I don't have a dryer, so I've just been relying on this to fully air dry. I think it seems pretty dry, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna grab my blow dryer and dry it a little bit more. <sighs> I'm so nervous to take these out. I really want it to come out good and I really hope that it's all dry, like all up in the inside. <laughs> but we're about to find out so far so good like if you look at the rollers most of them look pretty smooth and got a little bit of shine going to them as well so the only thing that could mess me up next is if it's not 100 percent dry pray for me y'all let's do this i'm nervous oh is it dry I think it's dry and working. Okay. I am a curly Sue right now, y'all. So my hair is pretty much dry. Um, the roots are like a teensy, I would say like maybe like still got a little 5% more to go, but I think we'll be okay. I think the product combo was a success because look at that shine and frizz wear. Okay, so we're not going out of the house looking like this. It's now time to separate the curls. And you see here how there's like a natural break, just... Pop it along and boom. So here is where we are so far. I think now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pick and just start picking out the root.
All right, so we are getting there, but I still feel like a curly sue right now. So I am gonna grab my lemongrass leak and shine finishing oil. Just spray a little bit in my hands. And then I'm just gonna play with it and fluff it out until I get the desired volume. So I am actually not mad at all at how this came out, especially for my first perm rod set. Like this is, this is really cute and I feel like it looks cute out, but there's also so many like different things that you could do with it as well, like different styles throughout the week if you're feeling a little bougie or if you have a week of events that you need to go to but you wanna change up your look in between events, this would be sick. The perm rods were a little bit of a pain in the ass to sleep with, I will say that. But given these results, I would say totally worth it. Another thing I really love about the perm rod set is that I really didn't use much heat on it at all. I did blow dry a little bit, just kind of like around the place last night and a little bit today, but it was very, very minimal heat. This is a lot more effort than I normally put into my hair. Again, the whole wash and go thing is just easy. It's my go-to. But I really, really love this for special events, just wanting to switch it up one day, like I am feeling the vibe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as usual, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep up with me and my natural hair journey. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.